What's up, fellas? I know you haven't heard that in a long time. <sighs> it's it's been a while, has it not? It has been. You know, I don't I don't really have a script here. I uh, kind of wish I made one, um, but I'm just gonna just share with you guys what's what's happened in the last oh three years. Wow, it's been three years. Yeah. March 2015, I think that was the last time I posted a video. Many of you probably thinking, wow, where have you been this whole time? And uh, what's happened? And why just a random video on your channel? Well, let's, let's start with the, I guess you could say, what happened part of that statement. When I was making YouTube, when I was first starting, I was really on fire for it, all that good stuff. And as I kept doing it, I, I felt I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with where the channel was going. I wasn't happy with the content I was putting out content. Oh, I hate that word. I wasn't happy with what I was putting out on the channel. And so I decided to take a break, but I just felt like just letting it die pretty much. I was just like, you know, I'm just done with it. All that good stuff. And the main reason was because I wasn't I wasn't enjoying myself. I was I wasn't myself either. I was kind of portraying this different person and a couple people called me out on it. They said, "Wow, they were like, uh, yeah, you know, your videos are good, but it feels it feels forced." It, it doesn't feel like you and you know I guess I I saw that too I was you know I wasn't I wasn't natural I was very you know I, I guess I don't know how you call it uh, trendy I guess I, I don't know the word I don't know the word I'm looking for here but maybe maybe someone knows or if any of my friends watching this they know what I'm talking about I didn't like that I didn't I didn't like how I, how I kind of approached the channel. I kind of approached it in a way to I wanted to do all these great things, and it had the wrong spirit behind it. I guess you could say. I can't really think of another word. I kind of went into the whole YouTube thing, like make thinking I'd make it big, right? But with everything that's happened since then and now, with a bunch of this YouTube garbage happening, all this this the ad apocalypse, all this stuff, it made me that much less likely to come back but it was because I had that same thought I had that same thought of just making videos that were either trendy trending stop saying trendy trending or they were like oh this is a hot new game I have to play it you know uh, oh I gotta play the new Five Nights at Freddy's 7 the dildo barn no I don't have to play that game why because I don't like that game simple as that and I didn't I didn't I didn't like having to feeling like I needed to make videos that needed to be done and that's that's I don't know how I, I worded that really stupid but what I'm trying to say is I felt like oh so and so and so and so and so and so are playing these games these guys are let's players or whatever the heck they do I should make a video just like it too so I could get you know liked or get a ton of views and you know that didn't work out however the videos that I personally enjoyed, that I didn't care about the views, those are the ones that I always had fun making, but I made, those were so far and few between. I'll give you an example. Evil Within, okay? I had expectations for this game, and they went straight to the crapper. Why? Because the game was very mediocre, but the game wasn't even on my radar. I was like, eh, I'll buy it, maybe, if it goes on sale. The thing is, when I was doing the YouTube, this was early on in my YouTube thing, I felt the need to play because like, oh, this is going to be a hot game, it's like a horror game, everyone's going to be playing it, oh, and it was, not only was it a chore to edit, it was just, it was just a stupid game, simple as that. And so, from there on, I just felt like I was working. And I, I don't want, I don't want this to feel like work, because it really, it really isn't. Um... Videos I share, videos I put up, I wanna, I wanna enjoy them. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying I'm just gonna be lazy and just put, you know, garbage reaction vids all the time, or not all the time at all. Whatever. Um, 
yeah, there's not gonna be that much editing in this video because um, why not? I want to be as real as I can be, unless the parts where I stumble, like now, this should be edited out. So in a nutshell, I was, I was feeling, I was, you know, trying to, I was, I would be working on three projects at a time. I was trying to get a video out every day, and at the time, at the time, I was working, um, a job, a job. But I'll get to that in a second too, because why the hell not? And I just didn't like it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't. I didn't like that. Oh, I gotta, you know, continue. I gotta film every day, put a video every day to stay relevant. And uh, nowadays, it's it's kind of hard to. I mean, people either like you or they don't. And honestly, I was I was. It was a facade for me. It wasn't. I wasn't acting like myself. I was trying to be all of these things. I was trying to be like you know the the radio friendly song kind of guy. You know, just like oh yeah, this is. I could listen to this everywhere, in the work, office, in the car, no, I, I don't want to do that. Now I'm not saying like now my videos are going to be super explicit or anything like that, no I'm not saying that at all, but it, it just, it wasn't me, and looking at my old videos, my reactions were bad. So what's to come, huh? what's, 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 what's in the pipeline, right, what's, what's going to happen now for this channel, frankly I don't know, I wish I could answer that question for you guys. But I can't because, you know, at the time, um, just to give a quick synopsis, why I kind of, what kind of made me quit too, not quit, and you know what I mean, like just stop, is because I, I lost a, I lost a passion for like video games. I, I kind of lost that uh, passion in a sense. And I, I gained some other hobbies. Like for example, I'll show you real quick. Look at that. What are those? Those are board games. Yep. A good amount of them. Not a crazy amount. But actually. Oh, let me set this right. I actually got into board game and I really like it. I, I love it, actually. It's, um, you know, I, I remember I played a game and it just reminded me back when I, I started playing some of these games with my brother. Um, but then he moved out, and so I kind of just, you know, started playing gaming, like online gaming, all that stuff. But then I played, and then I was like, wow, it feels nice to be with around people that are genuinely having a good time, too. It's nice having that social mm -hmm. interaction. <gasps> Anyways. Let's do my phone over there. Sorry about that. Um... So I used to, and you know what, I'm just going to say this, because I don't care, I, I really don't, I don't care if this is used against me, this film is footage, and I don't care, point blank, I don't care. I was working at GameStop, GameStop sucks, and this is not going to be a history lesson or anything like, like a like a high school back in time, and no, 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 no. Um, GameStop, I mean, despite the terrible hours, you know, the bad everything else, you know, they, this, these crazy expectations they had of me. When so, uh, there would be times when I get four hours a week, that's besides the point. That happens at almost any job. What GameStop did was it kind of sapped that small passion I had for gaming, video games in general, because it was it just it just gave me a bad. It's just how they operate. It just made me hate them in a sense that I want nothing to do with them. I just wanted to be away from them. So, you know, I got into board gaming, like, maybe like two months after my last video, and I've just been, you know, I've just been having fun with that, you know, that's great and all. But, you know, aside from that, I just wanted to kind of let you guys shine some light on kind of why I veered off. And uh, I know many are thinking, why now? Why come back now? You know, it's a new year. Um, frankly, I don't know why. I, you know, I have, right now I have free time. Um... You know, I'm not always busy generally, but you know, I don't always stay in the house a lot and I, I kind of try to keep busy, but now I have, I have, I guess all the time in the world, I guess you could say. Now, does that mean I will post every day? No. If you were expecting that, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That's just not going to happen. Um, I can't meet that. I won't, I won't make a promise I can't keep. Simple as that. I won't. So what's, what's to come? What's going to change? Um, I think for me, um, I really liked my Let's Not Play series. Um, many of you know what I'm talking about. You know, I played Superman 64. And this, in a nutshell, is just me playing these horrendous games that 
everyone should avoid like freaking ass cancer but i i like doing those because i just it just it made me feel like in my element you know when i'm cynical and judgmental i guess that's when i'm you know in my element i guess i don't know if that makes any sense whatever but i'm very just like oh, what is this crap that's how i feel not all like all oh, right we're gonna play this game because uh, no 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 i don't want none of that in here that's why i like doing those it's just feel it, it, i like them you know and i've played a lot of terrible games and there's so many that have come out since then um that's something i continue to do also some other things like i um i have some vids of uh, vids i have uh, some video ideas whether they'll be good or not um <clears throat> Like, uh, kind of like blind plays. I won't be wearing a blindfold while playing because that'd be stupid. What I mean is, I have a ton of Steam, uh, GOG, or not really Origin, but a lot of games that I don't, I've never played. They're just in my Steam library, just sitting there. And um, that's mostly due cause to Humble Bundle and Humble Monthly and all that garbage. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, so I don't think I am. But anyway, back to the point. Uh, kind of like just playing games and just. Going in with no expectations, just going in, raw reaction, maybe not, I don't know what I'm going to do. And from there on, if I like the game enough, I'll keep playing it. Also, another change that I'm probably going to do this, I will keep base cam vids specifically for any type of vlogging. Um, mostly because I felt that the webcam just made me feel more unnatural. It, it made it feel like there was an audience there and I had to be I had to look or be a certain way you know like camera friendly first of all I don't I don't like being on camera granted this is longer than I like to be on camera and hopefully I'm in focus if I'm not I apologize because this is like the third time I'm trying to film this and I don't really, I don't really have a viewfinder that's besides the point what I mean is I might cut them out entirely I mean I might keep them for some videos uh, maybe the let's not plays because you know sometimes oh, oh, there might be a funny look in my face Maybe people like that. I don't know, but otherwise most of the times it was just me static and just being like yeah um, You know, I, I didn't feel Loose I was just kind of forced in a way if that makes any sense Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about. It makes sense to me. So that's what matters, right? And finally this vlog has already gone on long enough. I'm pretty sure you guys are saying okay shut up already all right if you've made it this far and um you know i thank you and i have seen uh those that follow me on twitter um my facebook page is done with i didn't keep up with it so facebook just takes it down i probably won't even i probably won't even resurrect that's whatever facebook was i barely use it anyway but um my twitter account i mean i'm pretty sure that people that follow me on there uh, have seen just me. It's just it's it's basically an account for contests, like all these contests I joined, and that's all I used it for. But I, I did read those I did read a lot of those messages um, that some people that people sent me saying, hey, I, I miss your stuff. I hope you come back and stuff like that. And that that means a lot to me because I I thought I never, I hated my videos. Honestly, I hated them after seeing them like a year later, and so you know I. Um, that means something to me that people were willing to just watch me. I mean, that's you know, that's that's touching. You know, I, I can't. I'm not good at expressing emotion or gratitude, but thank you for that. And so, if you're watching this, and if those that still remain subscribed to me, that are that are, I guess, loyal fans, I mean, thank you as well. I mean, I don't think I dropped in subscriber count. So hopefully, if this video comes up, I'll. Um, I plan to shortly after have some something uh, in the works, but um, I I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's gone on long enough. Um, I'm running out of things to do with my hands, so I'm just doing this for some stupid reason. But guys, thank you so much. Thank you for listening to this guy ramble, and hopefully. There might be more, like I said, as far as videos are concerned, maybe it might not be a gameplay stuff. It might be board game related, or I might do short films, uh, stuff with like Gabe or Jake. And speaking of which, that uh, the recent video that was posted, um, let's just do this. Maybe, hopefully I remember to add it in. Um, 
that that was done by my my good friend uh, Gabe Gabriel. His name's uh, Balefire uh, Ten. Uh, no, I think it's just Bail. I'm sorry. Wow. Sorry, Gabe. Uh, Balefire on YouTube. And uh, you guys should really check out his stuff, man. He's he's great. I mean, he pretty much filmed. He had the idea of the video and pretty much edited it. I just sat there and said that looks good, you know, because it's been a while since I edited. So give me that uh, patience as well to uh, have to learn all that stuff again. Um, and uh, Jake as well for helping me with a lot of things too. Um, they really help out with uh, camera stuff that uh, I'm working on. This isn't their camera, by the way. So if it looks like shit, that's why. All right, guys. I said I was going to end this. I'm going to end it right now. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see what 2018 brings. I'll see you next time.